Good morning and Chatelet, everyone. This is going to be a quick follow-up on my uh, research into MQA, Master Quality Authenticated, a new form of music coding that makes music files smaller. And I've talked about this before on uh, the previous video, but this is going to be a follow-up. It's going to go into more detail. I'm going to go through this very quickly if I can. Uh, MQA, you know, the steganography type scheme and so on and so forth. People talking about uh, DRM, uh, lots of people getting banned on different forums on the internet, lots of people uh, um, trolling on there and making all sorts of accusations. One fact is uh, absolutely clear is that one very prominent person was um, not only banned from one of the big sites and everything else, but a private message from them to the administrator of the site the administrator turned around, posted it publicly, uh, made all sorts of fun of it and everything else. Very unethical. Nobody agrees that private messages should be posted publicly ever unless, of course, it contains some kind of threat or uh, whatever. You know, it has to be legal. But uh, apparently these people have no, uh, no common decency at all. Anyway, going on with this, um, the whole idea of whether MQA is better or not is kind of besides the point. Uh, a lot of people are coding in MQA basically to get smaller uh, streaming or smaller files for whatever reason. Who knows? And uh, uh, my only uh, interest in this was to determine if the uh, files themselves sounded better. You know, and uh, I guess it's kind of a mixed bag and everything else, but uh, uh, long story short, I haven't found any MQA files to sound worse than anything else. And uh, in fact, some of them actually sound a little bit better. So, uh, MQA is okay in that respect. As far as uh, whether they can DRM the music that way, uh, I'd leave that up to lawyers and other people to work all that out. So uh, I bought some albums, uh, Buena Vista Social Club, and I bought uh, the Steve Reich album, and I also got something, uh, some choral music, Christmas music, and uh, all of those sounded really good. And... Uh, one of the things that's going on on one forum, the administrator doesn't want to deal with uh, controversy and everything and has shoved the topics into something, uh, uh, kind of a quarantine site or, or uh, you know, uh, whatever they call it. And other sites just have trolling and other sites ban people and so on and so forth. It's a real mess out there, but uh, I don't think they're going to be able to cover all this up because, uh, you know, people want to talk about it. And uh, with all these people scared to death, frightened to death about it, that are, uh, you know, doing all the trolling and banning and everything else, it's not, in the end, you know, they're going to be outed as, um, you know, whatever, I don't know, conspiracy people, uh, paranoid, whatever it happens to be. It needs discussion, and if there's any uh, DRM threat, I mean, all of the, uh, basically all of the books and all of the videos are already DRM'd, and music was DRM'd a long time ago, but Napster and other things kind of cracked that open, and um, so the big, big music sites that uh, deliver music, like uh, Apple iTunes and some of the high-res download sites, those, those files generally don't have any DRM, but uh, apparently the big music companies would like to have that put back so that they can... Um, uh, control the theft and sharing of music files and so on. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Um, I don't stream anything. Streaming is where uh, MQA came in first to uh, make fa smaller uh, sizes of the, the data so that it would stream better on people's uh, limited internet. Here in the United States, we uh, our internet generally is third world in most places unless you pay an exorbitant fee to the to the internet meisters, the internet providers. And, uh, you know, the internet freedom that everybody talks about, what they call the, uh, I don't know what they call it, uh, internet, uh, yeah, that the government's uh, handling right now and everything else, only uh, talks about the pipes themselves and the download speeds and all this other kind of stuff. And uh, really... The, the real serious thing to talk about is all the censorship going on at Google and uh, Amazon and uh, Facebook and Twitter and all these other places. And it is Facebook when you got a monopoly on social media. It is censorship. Uh, monopolies are, are very bad for the, for the people, for a free country. 
And when they exercise uh, censorship on those, it is censorship. I don't give a crap what anybody says about they own it and they're the owner and they got it right, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't work that way. Anybody that knows the history of American uh, trust busting knows what that's all about. So anyway, um, I would say I told people a long time ago that, uh, you know, back up your files and everything. And, uh, you know, if MQA proves to be, um, you know, something unpleasant and everything else, make sure you have uh, generic copies of everything that you back up. Uh, you know, that, that, that you do conversions on your MQA files to some other format, you know, maybe a generic wave format or whatever you do so that uh, they'll play on uh, open source players for the rest of your life but um, a lot of people are talking about MQA getting into DAX and if you have a DAC and you depend on that to play your music because uh, you're not using the headphone jack then um, you know if your DAC gets MQA and it might block some of your uh, music if it's not approved by the um, you know by the music vendors and so on so anyway, just some random thoughts about all this stuff that's going on, and um, it's a pretty vicious debate in some places, and um, hey, you know, I speak the truth because I have no dog in anybody's fight. So that's it. Thank you.